Now, Storm Tracker weather with East Idaho's chief meteorologist, Doug Iverson. So, what's with this rain? Yeah, chance of rain? Really? <laughs> After all the snow we just had? Well, obviously no chance of rain tonight and if it did try to precipitate at all it'd be in the form of snow right it's cold enough for that at least tomorrow you'll see a few extra clouds in the sky not quite as sunny but we'll still be dry at Idle Falls and Pocatello it's Friday though that we're looking at a chance of rain and the wind will pick up quite a bit and this is the reason why nice very moist a storm system along the Washington Oregon coastline dripping or tapering down into Northern California. This is what will give us that possibility of some wet weather, at least on Friday. And there's a chance that some of this would arrive earlier enough tomorrow, at least over the central mountains. Good chance of seeing some rain and snow there and certainly some rain and snow over the highlands in western Wyoming. But the Stake River Plain will be right in the middle tomorrow. We'll have storm or some wet weather on both sides of us. Uh, but I think at least down low, it'll be dry and it'll still be pretty nice as far as the Thursday goes. 20 will be the low in Pocatello, 14 for low in Rexburg. Certainly an improvement in the temperature tonight in uh, Idle Falls, 14. Almanac, I showed you six last night. So at least we're headed up. That's the right direction. 18 in Dillon, 27 in Salmon. We'll be in the mid to upper 20s over in the Magic Valley. Malad City tonight will have a low of 23. Now tomorrow, slightly warmer. In fact, we'll see highs in the 40s, not just in the lower Snake River Plain, but up around Idaho Falls and Rexburg, making it into the 40s. That will definitely be spring-like. 31, though, for high in Yellowstone, so any precipitation at all will be in the form of snow. So let's talk about that future tracker. We'll set it in motion uh, by late morning. Early afternoon around lunchtime, rain and snow will begin over the central mountains. And then late mid-afternoon, we'll see some rain and snow just to the east of Rexburg. Looks like maybe a rain-snow combination over the Big Hole Mountains. I think Kelly Canyon, you might see a wintry mix, at least down at the lodge. And certainly snow pushing eastward over into Yellowstone and, of course, across the Tetons. But we're still dry in the Snake River Plain. Our chance of getting wet will come Friday. And it will be a bad hair day, too. A bit on the wind side temperatures still in those 40s we'll take it Saturday though hey we're dry look at the weekend no oh, don't forget the time change too on Sunday you'll want to give up that extra hour of sleep you got in the fall yeah we got to turn it in this weekend so everything jumps ahead one hour springs forward in the spring right I don't fall seven day forecast chance of rain on Friday it will be windy and look at those highs next Tuesday and Wednesday even warmer than they were this week uh, highs in the 50s that is definitely spring like maybe like late spring Rexburg seven day forecast could see some rain on Friday but we are dry definitely a much better weekend to get out and about especially if you have to travel compared to the one we just had Teton area seven day forecast we have a rain snow combo for the next couple of days. We get rid of all that this weekend. Beautiful, mostly sunny and warming up. So we're going to be melting even more snow with temperatures jumping way into the 40s. For the Central Mountains, rain and snow tomorrow and Friday, but nothing of that sort for the weekend. Just lots of sunshine. And look at that. Tuesday, Wednesday, lower 50s. What snow? Like a week and a half later. I like it when the seasons are in transition. <laughs> Finally see a little bit of progress. Yes, you do. All right, thank you very much, Doug.